my little mountain reference point. I use this uh, whether it's a no go, no go for the weather at my base field. If I can see the top of that, I got VFR. If it's below, I don't have VFR. But not three miles from the field, but pretty close. And those little sets of hangers there, that's my field. Nice little strip, it's gravel, crushed gravel, super smooth, very forgiving. I'm impressed with the uh, field, that's for sure. Alright, let me give you the nickel tour of the airplane here. Uh, KLN 89B works good. I have a user waypoint, Whiskey Alpha 77, that's my home field. AMA 20 audio panel works fine. I wish it had Bluetooth, but oh well. Uh, includes a uh, marker panel too, so for the ILSs that I may be shooting, I don't know. I don't really use markers anymore. There's traffic in sight. A uh, pair of KX-155s works good, lasts a long time. And they're within a, uh, like two degrees on a dual VOR check, perfect. Uh, circuit breaker panel, radio master switch. That little uh, course indicator right here is for the GPS. That, that's a requirement as well as right here for the uh, IFR proof. It tells you the switching and when it goes to approach mode. That's all for your proper sensing. Uh, standard six pack with the uh, U Avionics AV30s flying. And I got different menus. Uh, let me get back out of this. There's menu two. Menu three. That's a standby. Uh, and I have the temperature probe set up to the top one, which gives me density, altitude, true airspeed. And then the bottom HSI. And I have a different setups here. Uh, map mode, straight, back up. Uh, this is with the uh, HSI mode. Uh, fuel gauge, altimeter, vertical speed. Uh, the, the only electric D, uh, gyro left is this guy right here, turn and bank, and it's got a flag. It's DC. Uh, ILS, regular VOR, uh, with a glide slope, works out number one, X155. ADF, which is going to come out, tachometer, which will be uh, replaced with the uh, EI uh, CG, uh, CGP probe or CPT probe. Uh, that'll give me engine monitor, but mostly for uh, low pressure and high oil temperature alerting. I've always had worries about not having proper alerting because I've had low oil pressure before and high oil temperature. I, those problems have been fixed, but it tells me I want to get alerting for the airplane. Uh, fuel flow sensor, and I'll keep, keep that same fuel flow. Uh, ADF will come out, and little ADF, uh, there's a little ADF right there, and it actually works. It works perfect. And here's your course sensing, and uh, digital readout as well as analog readout, and uh, I don't know, make me a deal. Transponder, that'll come out with the, uh, the UAvionics, uh, what do they call that, the new tail beacon uh, X? That's going to, oh, the wing, no, LP Connects, yeah, the transponder mode S as well as ADSB uh, out. Yeah. I got the uh, GDL uh, 52 with XM. That's going to go into a glove box right here, and I'll get a door, and that'll just be out of the way, uh, and it'll work fine. Uh, down here in the bottom row, we got the alternator, strobes, which is tied in the ADSB out right now. And uh, landing lights, I just run them all the time. They're LEDs. Uh, I got it leaned out a little bit right down here. Fuel, fuel selector, works good, lasts a long time. I'm probably going to do the CIS fuel probes when I do the engine monitor. Uh, an extra thousand bucks for two probes, but I think it'll be worth it. Uh, I got the uh, Garmin uh, UB, uh, USB plug, as well as the oil pressure. Uh, what I miss here. Uh, I got avionics. Sorry, master switch. This is my instrument lighting. So it's a switch here for backlighting, works good. And then uh, right under here is for uh, the rheostat up or down. And I got two. I got one for post, I got one for backlighting. And what else we got? No traffic, I'm still always looking. Got fuel primer. Uh, we got PETA heat, heat on this airplane. And this is a switch circuit breaker. You push it in for PETA heat, heat and it works good. Uh, I got the old Colesman from 
from World War II. Uh, right out there off the left wing. And uh, it works really nice. And I do have the alternator upgrade, so I have plenty of power on the airplane. But the only way I can really monitor my alternator is my bus voltage right here. One upper and lower, as well as I have an alert system set up on the uh, KLN 89B. But when I get the new engine monitor, that will give me proper alerting. Woo! Got some bumps here. Go looking. Alright, I want to just do a right, right turn. It's clear, right? I'm holding, I'm looking. down there with that, that water running. Woo! Very nice. All right, looking good. Uh, that, everything works on the airplane. The clock works. The call warning system works. Um, I, I guess you should say, well, you expect it to work, but... I don't have to do much at all to this airplane to keep it flying. Keep up with the engine, that's the main thing. So anyway, this is my nickel tour of my playground. Then on the other side of the Cascades, uh, there's a whole bunch of backcountry airports. You can go back there if you want, but not today. Inoqua traffic, Stinson 6966, Mike turning final, landing east, Inoqua. Hey, mixture. Is rich. Heartbeat's on. 60 knots. I'm getting ready to go full flap here. Once I'm happy with my path, I don't want to set up too high a sink rate, then add more flap. That just makes things worse. 55 knots, and we're going to go full flap. Get that nose down just a smidge. We're at 58 knots. I don't hear my stall warning yet, but I don't need it quite on yet. I'll get it down at the bottom. Now I'm just minor corrections on power to adjust my path. Right now, I'm probably a little high. I'm going to bleed up a little bit of that power while keeping the pitch about the same. That way, I don't speed up. I'm showing 59 knots. Gas undercarriage mixture, everything's done. Flaps are full. 58 knots. I do have BGs on this wing. Feeling a little high, so I'm going to get some of that power back. Still uh, 58 knots. Probably not 52 near the bottom. Bit of power just to keep that. There we go, looking pretty good. Always touch down. Power idle. There, I didn't want the tail to settle too much. Rudders. The way I teach rudders is how fast you can get off the rudder. The dynamics of the airplane will straighten it out. But if you try to compensate and correct going opposite rudder, you're probably going to get yourself in trouble. Carpet is off. Start leaning already. All right, it's going to be a little softer here. Flaps are up. Just to keep the power up, I don't want to uh, get dug in. Thanks for joining me. 1948 Stinson Flying Station Wagon.